Good evening, I'm Heather Scold. And I'm Bart Bedsold. The family of a kayaker who drowned Sunday at Lake Pueblo says there's not enough being done there to protect thousands of swimmers and boaters. Lake Pueblo is now the deadliest body of water in the state this year, with eight people dying on the treacherous waters. Investigative reporter Sean Rice is live along Sailboard Beach, the site of multiple deadly drownings this year. Sean. Yeah, Bart Heather, the winds were gusting at nearly 40 miles an hour when Larry Foster's kayak capsized on Sunday evening. Today, his family described him to me today as an avid outdoorsman, but he still died here on these waters. Now they're asking the state to step up and ensure people are safe when they come here. There's zero safety. Larry Foster's brother, D'Angelo, is calling on state officials to find ways to protect people at Lake Pueblo. On this map, you can see there have been eight water-related deaths at Lake Pueblo in 2022. Seven of those were drownings. There was also one death related to a boating accident. 2022 was deemed the deadliest year on record for water deaths in Colorado, but no other body of water has had more than two water-related deaths this year. They had people to say, hey, we know it's a windy day. We need, we're going to be out here watching this water because it's a windy day. And we have people who come to this public lake. But there's no oversight. They just let people go down there. They, 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 they don't consider any safety and they leave it open to the public. However, Colorado Parks and Wildlife says it does not believe the water-related deaths have anything to do with staffing or oversight. CBW continues to emphasize the importance of wearing life jackets, saying many deaths could have been prevented if people were wearing them. It's the same issue they spoke with us about in September. Lake Pueblo is a very big lake, uh, 13,000 uh, miles of, uh, of water there. And so that's a big lake. If you fall in the water, it can be hard for, for crews to find you, for other boats to see you. And having a life jacket on just gives um, other boaters and safety crews more time to find you. But the pain Foster's family is feeling has prompted them to speak out about the dangerous body of water. There needs to be some kind of legislative law, some kind of change for, the, for, for people that are going to go out there. So no other family experiences of loss that we are experiencing. We also sought answers from Colorado Governor Jared Polis, whose office oversees CPW. We asked him about those increased calls for oversight. His office told me today they're committed to educating people and letting people know that wearing a life jacket can save your life here on these waters. Reporting live outside Lake Pueblo, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates. All right, Sean, thanks.